So we got a special mission and uh, it's not one of the real big ones. It's the Kernite mission. Let's go out and mine some Kernite. Uh, I'm gonna go and um, pick some up. It's gonna be a few jumps. There is some here, but it's it's way overpriced, and I've got a bunch at Gita Station, so I am going to go and get it. And haul back some uh, some other items as well. Got like. 180 million worth of loot. Which is nice. It's just a little bit. It's not a huge amount, but you know, you make a lot more than that if you're in null, you know, doing like anomalies and stuff. But it's better than better than nothing. It's it's worth the time to pick it up. I'm actually going to bring some extra Kernite back with me, too. Because I will get offered this again. Kernite mission is probably one of the most common special missions you get. It also pays about the lowest. This here's my impel. This is my uh, ship of favor. We'll see. Uh, the new ship's coming out next week, whether or not it still stays there.
Going T3 exhumers. Hmm. It can be interesting, but I think that a lot of people would just go for volume, mining volume. I don't know. Some might go for tank. We kind of have those choices already, though existing existing ones but then again maybe one would turn him into a, a battle barge like these ships coming out next week it's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of weird stuff we can do with them I think next week's gonna be a good week. There is so much new content coming out. Joy Ninja, hello. Without my implants, this only goes up 300 some thousand DHP. Um, with implants, with the proper implants, I can get like 550,000 DHP on this.
which gankers probably are not going to throw enough enough uh, resources at it. I'm not carrying anything very valuable right now though, so not too worried about it. Hmm, look at them red flashies in here. Nope. It's actually not that high of uh, EHP without overheating. 141,000. But I'm going to an insta dock. Likelihood of somebody actually shooting me, they'd have to get multiple on me. That's not going to happen. But I just kind of always turn on my hardeners anyway. And I do an insta dock, even if I'm empty. And even if I'm in my freighter, or whatever. It's just safer. You never know when somebody's gonna wanna shoot you just for the hell of it. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All this loot out of here. It was a lot of items. All right, and then I have a box here called Mission. And I have just a bit. Uh -oh, we are loaded up on Kernite. But you know what? Do I have an angel diamond here? I do. Can I fit that in there too? Yes. All right. So the angel diamond uh, comes up in some of the missions. So, all right, now we can head back. Are there any other diamonds that I would need out here in Caldari space? I think that's the only one. Every time you try and start EVE Vanguard, it just starts EVE. What are you doing wrong? Uh, Vanguard is not up at the moment. It's only special testing weekends. And I, there was a leak that said that the next one is on the 20th. So, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but we all saw it in an error in the in the in the uh, um, in the launcher. Or did that say June twentieth instead of July? I don't know. Anyway, there will be another one coming up. Just gotta stay tuned for when it is. Uh, probably by the end of the year, it'll be fully launched. Persistent.
So Vanguard, I'll be playing Vanguard, but probably not until it's persistent. And then I'll give it a real whirl. You'll see how it all interacts and everything. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I like a change of pace from time to time. And if there's some way that I can interact back with Eve and everything, I'm down for it. Welcome to the Dragons. Timmel Zero RD just followed. Timmel, or no, that'd be Time Lord. Thank you for the follow, welcome. By the way, um, get in on the giveaways, exclamation point giveaway. We will be doing at least one giveaway before the end of the show today. So, and get in on all of them. One of them will be drawn today, at least one. You don't know which one. So get in on all of them. Could have an account in our store. It's, uh, you have to sign up an account and then you can add them to your cart. Uh, it's much like buying something, except it's not gonna ask you for any money. It's just gonna ask you for your first, last name and email address. And um, so uh, it won't charge you anything. No purchases required. One entry per person. You can enter into all the stuff, but only once. If you make a second account and try and get more entries in, our system will note that on the back end. And then when we go to do the draw, it'll say, ignored, ignored. If you did two of them, it'll ignore both of them. You don't want to be ignored. Gives everybody a good fair chance customer or not. Which giveaway? The answer is yes. <laughs> Get in on all of them. I know there's two different pages for them. One's a monthly giveaway. It's always up and available to everybody. And then the, um, the live show ones are only available for entries during the live shows. It gets turned off after the show's over. So, well, let's see here. How close are we on drawing the we have one for 74,000 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, we're getting close. Next week. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Um, at 74,000 subscribers, we have a very nice giveaway that we're drawing. I think it's worth about 50 bucks. Um, in honor of reaching 74,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're at 73,943. So, 
We could very well be drawing that next week. Unless some crazy shit happened and 60 of you subscribed right now, I bet you that more than that there's not that not 60 of you here who are not subscribed. Super or Titan? Currently, no. But uh, I will be. Um, I will be getting an Erebus, most likely. Uh, but it's going to take a little while. My grand grand plan for galactic domination Welcome is taking a little bit longer dragons. than I want it to. Cave Monza just followed. Cave Monza, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How do I make all the isk for it? So, uh, here's the deal. I've been playing Eve almost every day for more than 10 years. I played it on and off before that. And I've been much better with my money in game than I am in real life. <laughs> and uh, I've made some good investments in the game and stuff and I'm, I'm doing well. Um, I, I let's just say I play smartly on the markets and stuff, and I um, so I've I've accrued quite a bit. Um, but I still have never purchased a Titan. Never, never done a Titan. And uh, I'm working toward that right now. So I have the money where I could do it, but I have this really big play that I'm hoping to double my money. And it's gonna take, you know, it's gonna take uh, in total a year or more to do it. But because um, the the outlay to to get it working and everything is absolutely enormous and uh, so I hope that uh, sometime this year I'll hit trillionaire but who knows I'm not gonna make decisions to get to that goal quicker in, at the expense of making more profit. I'll go slower to make more profit anytime. G to local is good at doubling? Yeah. Well, I'm working my own doubling service and I'm not really sharing how I'm doing it either. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a long-term play. Kind of like uh, I invest in skins and those um, those are long term. Although the skins market uh, could be just totally tanked with Skinner coming out uh, next week. So I have uh, I don't know it's 200 250 billion worth of skins. That is where my major investment has been, where I've made my money. I speculate on them. I buy skins when they're dropping and they're rare, you know, at a hundred million each. And then I hold on to them and I sell them, you know, like two years later for 800 million to a billion. Um, so it's a really long-term play. And then they don't sell very fast at that. So if I have say 20 of them, it, 20 of them would take me more than a couple years to sell probably. Um, so I've made profit doing that, but it's really slow. That's been one consistent thing I've done Docking all along. Docking request accepted.
All right. So, Kernite. Kernite. And then we are going to uh, put this Angel Diamond out here so that when I get another uh, Angel Extravaganza, I have it. All right, 54,000 Kernite. Now, we'll talk to the agent. She happens to be right here. Now, here it goes. You ready? Do we need the timer for this one? On how fast I'm going to be able to finish it? Accept. Complete. Done. <laughs> Fastest mission ever. Yeah. Let's see what that did for me. I'm still at 9.96 on there. And Calari Navy. Woo. Yeah, okay, 9.96. And then uh, 8.69. I was at 8.65. Yeah. Now I'm at 8.69. So it really gave me point. Zero four. Oh, man. Not very much. But it all counts. All this by running missions? No, I do a lot more than just run missions. But all this by running one mission. So... Yeah, and that uh, probably took me down with Galante, yep. Took me down with Galante and Minmatar. Like I'm gonna have to do something about my Minmatar coming up here, which I'm gonna have to do the Minmatar epic arc with another character to buff him up. Because I can't do any Minmar Minmatar missions because I will mess up my uh, state standing here so all right where is the uh mark all is red right all right so this is the one i'm working on and i even got some with this you know but it still wasn't enough to move the move the number um, you can make profit at running missions and if you're not doing it for standing, so I'm doing it for standings. If you're not doing it for standings, you start cataloging how much you make off of each mission and then you start turning down the ones where you don't make enough and you just keep doing that as long as your standings stay high enough. So um, there's that. Another 16 missions, and they will offer me another one. Uh, hopefully, it pays better. But I do have, I do have now enough Kernite that uh, I can do that. What uh, I can do that mission four more times. When I get good standings, can I get money? The standings don't depend on the money. Um, the standings, well, they do, but in a different way. I'm doing the standings because of all the business I do in Jita. And so if we um, look at this, like I've uh, sold 32 billion, bought 31 billion, and most of that's been in Jita. And so um, that is, uh, um, if, if you lower your tax rate, you make a bunch more. Um, you keep a bunch more of your profit. So that's what, uh, that's what the whole deal is. Why I'm doing this. Second here.
we have this giant heat wave happening here in Florida. Our temperatures are like 10 degrees higher than what we normally have for highs. And um, even my, my AC that I put in the room, the mini split, which is oversized for the room, it's not keeping up, which really sucks. But um, it's not keeping up. So I have a fan that I just moved. And if it gets too, too warm, then I'll just have to end the show. This is really rare. Normally, we're like in the 80s at the most. So um, anyway, and we're gonna be 97 today. So eventually it's gonna get too warm in my office. When it gets too warm, I get a headache. And um, so I don't like headaches. I could put an ice pack on my head, keep streaming. That wouldn't be weird. All right, let's pull another mission. All right, I'm getting really tired of it offering stuff in this uh, one low sec system. I'm not going to be able to do this one. Yeah, that's why you have a portable uh, AC unit in your room. Yeah, so I have a portable one as well. And, um, but uh, uh, one of my boys is borrowing it right now. And so, um, and I'm not going to take it away from him. But I thought about that. But the darn thing weighs so much. It's so heavy. Yeah, message part, in-game name, Twitch name, YouTube name, in-game name, whatever name you want to be known by when I read off that you're the winner. Come on, those giveaway entries. Is it good? Uh, Faction Warfare is probably better ISK and LP. Or better LP, which converts into ISK. Okay, we are not going to accept this one. But now if I get offered another one, I can't decline it again. I have to wait four hours. So. All right. Cargo delivery. Uh, didn't I do this one the other day? I think so. Let's look here. By the way, sale on Omega Time right now. So. The, the Omega Time sales don't happen nearly as often as the other type of sales. In fact, I wonder when the last Omega Time sale was. Uh, I don't have something in front of me that tells me. But um, I think I think it might have been in November. So, and it has skins with it. If you're watching live. YouTube, well, this is already passed. All right, let's see here. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm gonna look at, uh, I'm gonna look at cargo delivery. Sanchez Nation, there's no notes on it. Okay. Blitz, warp in, grab the goods, warp out. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blitz it. Doesn't look like anything here, too much uh, good money or nothing. So we're gonna blitz it. Except, I wonder if I could do it with, uh, with this ship here. Bet you I could. But how fast does it go with the propulsion? Because don't I have to go a ways? It's going to go 255. It's too slow. It's too slow. I, I was giving it a thought for a minute. I don't know. Do you want me to run it? Do you want me to run a level four security mission in a hauler? <laughs> I suppose I could. It'd definitely be different. 
All right, I'll do it. You guys didn't even answer yet. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, courier missions are typically not very profitable. You do them for standings. Yeah. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to use an impel for cargo delivery, which does have rats, can shoot at me. So here we go. We'll, we'll see how it does. I'm not going to put it on my spreadsheet list, though, as use the impel. Not unless it does some amazing time, but it's not going to. Oh, set destination. Okay. Have to go next door. Let's go. Field extenders? No, this is complete armor. This is an armor ship. This is dumb. Why am I doing this in a hauler? Can do it in a T1 frigate. Well, then I can do it in this. This thing's just gonna be slow. And I don't have the right implants for the mega EHP. I'll have unheated 141,000. That should be fine though. All right. Here we go. Drive active. Security mission in a hauler. Now, this may not be so rare come next week after the new ships are out. Let me like, let me take something down that has some, some uh, auto fire missiles. Um, this one does have a lot of stuff that spawns if you shoot things, right? No, I don't remember. All right, there is the warehouse, and there's the rats. Here we go. This is like sitting on a gate and null. Rats start shooting at you when you're in your hauler. Oh, that didn't hurt. Bring it on. Guys are weenies. Now oh, they're peeling off my shields a little bit, but this is an armor ship, so should be fine. My afterburner is on. All right. Well, here we are. We peeled off my shields, and I'm one third of the way to the box. And they're peeling off my armor a little bit. I am running. This thing's running as fast as I can. 
It is full speed. Here. This is about stealing something you're not supposed to. Suck if they like scrams me. That's a good song. All right. We're all fixed up. Didn't have to pay anything to an NPC repair guy. That though, I did start to question myself when I was bouncing off the station. Mm-hmm. I thought, oh, micro jump would be good right here. But I don't think there's any room in this fit for really doing a micro jump, if I remember right. Oh. 
Yeah, and it's got one shield. I could put a micro jump there, and I wouldn't give up very much by taking off this shield. Um, but that's what not this. This is not for. This is for um, hauling. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete the mission. That won't have been enough to keep me the 9.97. Nope. So every mission I've done today has not moved me off of 9.96. 9.99 to 10 is going to be brutal. It's going to be like 200 missions. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, see you in the next episode.